Hi, how are you? Isn't it, will you join Bella and I for lunch? Okay. I've just done a million Brazilian things. It's Wednesday, so I watered the plants. There'll be a little clip up there for that. And then I'll usually tidy up a bit after I work. Um, I do like customs and uh, all, all the links are up above. So that's about all I can say about it. But then I tidy up my house and then um, I take her for a WALK and then I go to the gym and then I get the rest of the night free because I feel like once I've done all those, isn't this just flowy and cute? Yeah, it's one of last year's dresses. I've been wanting to go to the store and find some dresses, but um, part of me is just trying to be really frugal right now because I've got some great goals in the works. And in order to achieve your great goals, then you kind of got to you know, use stuff that you have and look around and see what you could repurbish. Um, just like I was showing you with the flowers, like I had several, well, I don't know if I showed you, but I, there in my front of my house, I planted some perennials in my pots in front of my house. And I thought, well, I hope they don't die because I, I'm tired of buying annuals every year. So I took a chance and normally you're supposed to plant perennials in your yard or in your garden because then all of the soil and everything around it will make it survive in the winter time. So I took a gamble, I took a chance, and they survived, and they're the most beautiful, uh, if I remember, I'll put a clip at the end. They're the most beautiful yellow flowers, and all I have to do is water them, and then they just, they're right next to my garage, so it's just a win-win. So I did the same thing this year, um, as I showed you, some cattle lilies and um, some more yellow flowers, and, uh, those purple like grass things and so anyway oh I gotta get my lunch I forgot my lunch I'm just jibber jabbering jibbering I made lunch I made noodles today I put vegetables some broccoli um, spinach I put a little salsa in there mm. onions so I wanted to eat with you real quick. Ooh, it's a little spicy. She loves noodles. She's like, drop it, mom. <laughs> she loves noodles and she loves spaghetti. Spaghetti is like her jam. She will like, gosh, she acts like it's the best thing in the world. She loves it so much. So she's a noodle girl and a chicken girl. She loves chicken and noodles. It, she used to be my son's dog. He must have, I can just see him eating chicken and noodles every day. Cause that's, you know, people like what they like and then when they like it, especially when they're teenagers, they just have it over and over again. Put some noodles in, uh, go get, go to the gas station and get some chicken. Mm. So anyway, thanks for eating lunch with me. Uh, just, you know, there's something about this, this YouTube channel that really just makes me so happy that you guys, there's a place for you guys to come and join me. There's, there's so many lonely people in the world and I know because I live alone, me and my dog, my dog has become Oh, now that I tell you she likes them, she won't eat them. You know why? Because I put hot sauce in there. Um, everybody, you know, there's so many lonely people in the world. And I understand. And that's why I want to be with you. I want to eat lunch with you sometimes. I want to tell you stories sometimes. Sometimes I just want you to watch what I'm doing. and Because each time we're together, it's like we're just this one big happy family at Ursula TV. And I'm honored to have you at the table. 
and always leave comments and tell me what you're going through, what's going on with you. Oh, I thought that was a bug. It's a little snap. Oh, snap! It's a little snap. Took a shower, filmed a ton of videos, left my hair just natural, combed it, and it's still a little bit wet. So all the people, it's my natural look. So don't come for me. Mm. I see why she's not, why she's not eating the noodle because I put a lot of hot sauce. I kind of went, oops, I put all the hot juice in there. I poured that in there for flavor because I don't just like plain noodles. I like to spice my noodles up. So I wanted to put all the extra Salsa, onions, veggies. You know what I'm talking about? Mmm. Man, I love noodles. Tell me what we're eating together with. What are you having today? Ah, the juice. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I didn't know noodles could be so good. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Whew. Makes my nose run. It's so spicy. I got a little carried away with the spice. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I was just in my element and I'm just like pouring it in, pulling, pouring all the juice. <sighs> oh, spicy. It's like a spicy meatball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you like spicy stuff? Leave in the comments below. Does anybody else slurp their noodles like that? Or do they just, just. Bite it and devour it. <coughs> it's so spicy that I can't even handle that bite. It's like, uh, uh, I got a little carried away. Bella won't eat spice. She, she's like, no mom. I don't make my belly hurt. Mm. I don't care how anybody eats. Just get the food in there. You know, when you're hungry, you're hungry. When my kids were little, oh my gosh. When I finally got an opportunity to eat, I always had cold food because they're always so time consuming with all their stuff, shenanigans. By the time you get your food and you take care of everybody else, your food's cold and you're just like, you're too hungry to even care. You don't even warm it up. You're just like slurping it up, slurping it up. Slurping and cleaning. Slurping and cleaning, slurping and cleaning. Oh my gosh. And then you're you're going to pick their clo their uh, dishes up that they left with macaroni and cheese on it, and then you're like, well, waste not, want not. So you're slurping that up, slurping the hot dogs. Mm. By the time you clean the kitchen, do all that, it's nap time. And then nap time comes, and then you think, oh, finally, <gasps> I get a break. Finally, finally, finally. So you can sit down on the couch and you're just about ready to take a nap and your husband says, I'm home. <laughs> I came home for a nooner. Oh my God. And he has the, you go, he takes you to the bathroom and he's, he's got the pillow right there on the sink. And you're like, looking at him like, what? 
He goes, babe, you don't have to do anything. Just sit, I made it perfect for you. Just sit there on the pillow and I'll do all the work. <laughs> I'm gonna write a book one of these days, people. I am gonna write a book. I have stories that you, I could have a whole comedy skit with everything I've been through. Woo wee, maybe one day. Mm. Thank you guys for eating with me. I am so appreciative to you. And write in the comments below, if you enjoyed eating lunch with me and hanging out with me because I enjoyed being with you. And I'm honored to have such good friends as you. I'm honored that you would take your time here to just be with me. And I'm appreciative of every one of you. Bye for now.